What's up, Carrot Chortlers? Welcome back. I fear today might also be a pretty chaotic episode. I don't really have a major goal in mind that I'm going to be working towards, unfortunately. I think most likely it'll be diode slash empty circuit boards. I don't think I'm going to make an actual good circuit because I'm afraid that will open up the MV tier, and I don't want that to happen until I'm good and ready for that to happen, you know? But I do have a couple of random little goals. In the meantime, uh, first off, I would like to make a storage solution for the mob farm. It's getting a little annoying having to throw crap away constantly. So I think I'm going to make some arrangement of drawers and cabinets, or uh, not cabinet, filing cabinets, yeah. Uh, I think that's what I'm gonna go with. I'll probably put them right here. Some random item pipes. I think that'll be the solution for the time being. I want to make a second super tank because I'm realizing that oxygen is necessary for like pretty much everything I want to do here on out. So I need to make some sort of oxygen setup and I need a way to hold a whole bunch of it. And there was something else I wanted to do as well, but I forgot what it is right now. So we're gonna have to remember that in a minute. I think I will maybe never need wood planks again. I have made so, so, so many. This is my current collection. Um, it's a lot. Obviously, I'm joking. I would definitely need more, but not for a long time. Ooh, I've actually only just realized, apparently, if you do two logs and two planks in the assembling machine, it makes chests like 10 times faster without exaggeration. I think I want to give that a go. I'm going to need quite a few chests for what I'm planning here. I'm not really sure how long I should leave the uh, super tank for the oil accumulating. It's a good little ways out there, and it has, you know, massive storage, obviously, but... I don't really know how quickly it gets pumped either. Oh, there we go. I guess I'll go get it when the, the time feels right, you know? The good news with the super tanks is I think it'll be significantly easier making them after that first one is done because the first one only took so long so I was trying to figure out new recipes and stuff like pulsating iron and whatnot. But I have some leftovers, so it shouldn't really be nearly as hard. Hopefully, famous last words be damned. Oh, shit. Industrious princess, ho oh, baby. Ignoble is unfortunate, but you know, what can you do? This is why I get sidetracked, man. <laughs> There's too much shit going on. Okay, I'm doing the mob farm storage thing. Let me not forget. Just gonna quickly replace these. Oh, only one of them's even done. Okay, I'll come do the rest of these in a moment. Okay, there we go. So that'll be one chest every five seconds, and I'm putting in two stacks worth, I think. But... I think it uses two per operation, so... Anyways, that'll give me at least a stack of chests in a little bit. Oh damn, I can already make 25. Well, I'm sure I'll use them all eventually. Might change the wood type, though. Get a little crazy with it. I don't see any really satisfying purple-looking ones, but this one's kind of close, so I guess we'll do the... <laughs> oh no, amaranth drawers. Oh god. I think I'm cooked. She's still around. I have not seen anything about her in so long. Anyways, if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. You're better off. Ooh, this is gonna look pretty nice, actually. I just look at that. It slots in there beautifully, if I may say so myself. Yeah, I figure it makes sense to bring this over here. I'm, I'm, I've got so much wood shit that I'm currently making. Ooh, and look how satisfying that is. It goes from log all the way down to stick, to smaller and smaller. Oh yeah, I like that. I'm gonna yoink these. Actually, I don't need them yet, but I do need them over at the mob farm. I think I'm also gonna break the stone dust one and move it over there. Might destroy my computer doing this, hopefully not. Oh, Jesus. All right, so I put it all in there. We'll dolly it over here. Guess I'll plop it there for now. I don't really know. Can I make the upgrades for this, actually? This diamond one is 16 times. Wow, that's quite a lot, actually. All right, I think I'm gonna make the upgrade for this. I have so much stone dust. Ah, oh, I got a quest done accidentally. <laughs> Upgrading drawers. Hey, what tab is that, actually? And I don't think I've ever seen that one. Oh, it's in Steam. Okay, gotcha. Hey, six upgrade templates. I will take that happily. All right, there's my stack of chests done. I might actually go ahead and make more. Yeah, screw it. Let's do it. I find myself endlessly using them, so what's the harm? Okay, one diamond storage upgrade. You're five. But now I should have space for a... Oh, it shows up. Doesn't do that in the versions I've played before. Anyways, should have plenty of space for stone dust now, which is probably good because I don't think that resource is ever going to stop being generated. Ooh, sulfur also needs one. I'm just going to store the ones that I have a shitload of for the time being and, you know, kind of play it by ear. There's a few of these in here that could probably get their own, but we have space at the moment, so I'm not too direly needing it. Okay, I'm definitely going to need some item pipes for this mob grinder. Probably doesn't need to be super fast. Yeah, I guess we'll just do ten. Same old, same old. I have eight right now. Definitely not going to be enough. Oh, nice. I actually have ten plates over here. I wasn't sure if I did or not. All right, 22 might be enough. All right, so let's see here. I'm not really sure how I want to do this. Oh, God, another ender creeper. 
I am so sick of this shit. I'm just gonna run at him. Fuck it. Oh my god, he's so healthy! It's like four hits! What the fuck? Oh no. I don't know how you're supposed to fight this fucker. He better not teleport behind me and blow something valuable up. I guess I'm gonna go under- wow, that vacuum hopper has a long range. I guess I'm gonna go underneath the floor. I don't want it to look completely ugly. Alright, so those will all be there. Some more underground wiring action. Haven't been doing that in quite a long time. Like, I do need more pipes, tragically. Okay, so that'll be the good baseline. And I'll just manually fill it up with the most popular thing, so let's do that now, I suppose. It's like, zombie brain is quite popular. Basically, anything that has, like, more than ten is a good candidate for a cabinet. Or a drawer, I should say. And then I'll have a filing cabinet at the end for any of the weird one-off items. Of which there are plenty of as well. Okay, the rest of these are all in pretty small quantity. Well, maybe not the fish, but for the most part, I think those will fit in a filing cabinet. These are the mostly... Mostly these are the main ones that are, uh, too problematic. So let me go make another filing cabinet, which I have not done in about 45 years, give or take. Ooh, there's actually a diamond filing cabinet. Ooh. Actually, I think I could make that, but I don't really know what it does. Oh dear, I have no steel plates. I might have a bit of a problem. That's one of the reasons why I've wanted to get an oxygen production going. I'm actually running pretty low on steel these days. Took long enough, but we got there. It's like my last 47 steel, oh god. Okay, filing cabinet. I guess I'll just plop it right there and connect it up. And my hope is it'll prioritize the drawers first. I guess we'll put that to the test in just a moment. So let's turn it on. It should now go out to the pipes. Let me make it not go out to the chest anymore. And hopefully we'll start seeing some stuff happen. I guess I'll manually move the chest contents over. Oh shit, well that's not gonna work at all. <laughs> it's only gonna take potions, fuck. I forgot how it works. Oh man, yeah, pretty much none of these are considered the same item type, fuck. Well, slight change of plans, then I guess we're just gonna use a chest. Bit less exciting. Oh, I forgot to attach this. Oh god. It didn't give me the chest. And there it is. Okay, it's actually connected to the pipes now. Should see that start emptying out. Yep, there we go. And the spawn spider went to the right place. The bone did not, annoyingly. It might be because there was one in there, so I thought that was the best place to take it. Okay, so it's just going straight to the chest for some annoying reason. I think it's probably based on distance, hopefully. I'm gonna try moving it further away. I guess like all the way back here. It should be further than anything over there, right? One, two. I need to do one further, actually. Let's do that. Which unfortunately does mean I need more item pipes, but, you know. You gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, more pipes in hand. I should. Just need to take it under here, hopefully. Bink, bink, bink. So that's now hooked up. Oh god, there's a witch in there. Should be further away from any- Why is it still going in there? Go into the drawers, damn it. There's a zombie. Oh, baby zombie. See if he drops a brain. Oh, I got a spawn skeleton, how about that? Okay, there are some arrows in there. I think they actually went to the correct spot. They're no longer there. So maybe it's working? I don't know. I guess I'm gonna let it run for a bit. Hopefully it won't all break. Probably will, knowing my luck. But yeah, we'll give it a go. All right, back to the bees, which I probably should have checked on a long time ago, to be honest, but whatever. Come on, show me money. Uh oh, why is there an ocean queen in there? What the hell was I doing? All right, full diligent, you know, could be worse. And some more unwearies. Hopefully a purebred unweary? Quest, aha, yes. Woo, let's go. Purebred, son. Sat there in baited, with baited breath, waiting for the quest to complete. And it did. Aromatic lump. That's what they call me on Saturdays, you know? All right, another bee loot bag. I probably have enough to make an advanced one at this point. Oh, I have six. I could make two advanced ones. Maybe I should do that, actually. Is there good stuff in there? Ooh, I could get some frames, some alfieri parts. Probably actually worth, to be honest. Anyways, let's see. Uh, what are my best odds for getting an industrious? Diligent plus unweary. I think I should have a pure breed for both of those now. That's a pure unweary. Pure unweary. All right, all three are pure, hell yeah. Hybrid. Okay, so this industrious princess has a diligent. So I'm gonna put this industrious with a pure and weary, and I think that'll be the highest odds of getting a, uh, a full industrious. Oh, I should have put it in the other one though. Damn it, wait, it's not too late. Yeah, cool. So I'll put that one with the chocolate frame so it dies faster. Then I'm gonna run the unweary uh, together with itself again, just to make sure I don't fuck up and lose it. And we'll do a diligent with an unweary. And I guess I'll do a cultivated with a diligent. Okay, and now they're all running again. 
Nice. Hopefully I can get that clay drone pretty soon now. Gosh, it is really slow to do beads, like beads, excuse me. Really slow to do bees. Like I understand why people say that because it's definitely not a lie. But uh, man, when you finally get that slot machine hit and it all works out, oh, feels amazing. I'm a gambling man. Okay, let's do super tank shenanigans, shall we? I think I need bronze. Definitely thought I was making bronze previously. It looks like I was mistaken. Oh, I was not mistaken. I just already took it out. So while that is being accumulated, let's see. I think I'm good to go on the diodes, right? Fine copper wire, 16. I'll do that first to make sure the quest doesn't bug out on me. Man, I have a lot of machines running right now. <laughs> it's noisy in here. The sound of progress. All right, there's the copper wire. I've got the gallium arsenide dust. Well, now I do. 16, pretty cool. Eight diodes. Oh, that's actually pretty simple. Well, at this point. <laughs> now that I have everything, it's pretty simple. So setting four, copper, gallium arsenide, and then I'll take the rubber out and replace it with polyethylene, which I should have some in here. My baby automation, 3.7 thousand. Not too shabby. And bada bing, bada boom, hold on to your butts. We are making a frickin' diode. We're making four, actually, right? Yeah, four at a time. Oh, you can also use molten glass, evidently. Oh shit, that might be way cheaper, actually, for me. Oh, no, 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 because you only use the same amount of uh, gallium arsenide, so definitely want to get the most bang for my buck with that. It looks like I already am. Oh, no, I'm not. If I had tantalum wire, that would be the most bang for my buck. By a factor of four. Oh, even annealed copper wire is better. Damn it, I should have used that shit. I already have it and everything. Let me take this out of there. Fuck that. It's not like it's very hard to make a kneeled wire. I mean, come on. Okay, eight diodes. Bada bing, bada boom. Major quest complete. Wah, 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 wah. All right, two polyethylene pulp for raw silicon dust. Ooh, definitely the silicon. Yes, sir. Don't really need any more LV loot bags. I have like 60, excuse me, only 50. Didn't mean to exaggerate there. Please forgive me. Yeah, there's diodes. Done. Able diode. Sometimes you just need a diode. I don't understand what this thing does. Wow, it's energy flow in only one direction. What's the difference in this and a transformer? I thought that's kind of what a transformer did. Anyways, I'm definitely not using my diodes on this right now because I don't even know what it does. And then let's see. Empty circuit board quest. Phenolic. Phen phenolic. Phallic. Hey, yo, shout out. Circuit board. So setting one. Pulp and refined glue. Well, that is easy as piss. Easy as piss for a young person, not an old man. You get it, because like, pissing gets hard for old men, you know? Kind of a comedic genius. I don't like to brag about it. All right, I think I've got it all now. Just pulp and glue, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there we go. We are making Fancy Boy Circuit Board, which takes a really long time for some reason. I hope I can speed that up at some point in time. In a good circuit board, I need 16 gold wires. Ooh, gold. I've not had a lot of use for gold so far. I guess that time has come. I think the board's actually the most expensive part of this, which is frightening. Guess I'll throw a stack of gold in there, and hopefully that'll be enough for at least a little bit. And it looks like this setup actually is working now, thankfully. I'm not getting any of the, uh... Super plentiful resources in the chest, only the weird stuff. So that's really good, one problem solved. Now the problem of the tank being filled is a different thing, but <laughs> it's already giving me issues as well. I guess my quick solution is just to yoink these tanks. Maybe that's where I'll put the super tank that I wanted to make, actually. That might be a good idea, which I did, by the way, forget about completely. Anyways, there's our first fancy circuit boards with our first gold wires. I think I can finish that quest now. I can make five at the moment, so I guess I will go ahead and do that. I am fully confident I will use all of them. And anyways, there's the quest. Empty circuit board. A good one at that. And I guess the loot bag is the best thing here? I don't really know. I mean, gold wire is kind of... Eh. All right, reading it, I do believe this opens MV if I were to do the circuit quest, because I've already done the EBF one and whatnot. So, probably gonna hold off on that, but yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I already opened MV. Damn it, I didn't mean to. It's okay, it doesn't count. It doesn't count. Don't avert your eyes. Don't look at it. Yeah, that'll actually give me access to the basic circuit assembler, which I think is good. Hopefully it's cheaper. I don't actually know. Anyways, super tank time. Need to get my bronze. Oh my god. 
I've been making red alloy ingots <laughs> instead of prawns. I'm so silly. Oh goodness, it looks like the motor is still gonna be a little annoying. I think I'm actually out of copper nickel. Might have to, I mean, I should definitely bolt craft some of that just as soon as I remember how to make it. Oh, it's just copper and nickel. Okay, well that's chill actually. I certainly have enough of both of those right now. Let's see how much it uses for one operation. Oh nice, it's just one and one, okay. Well, I'll let that go for a bit. I'm not really sure why I was thinking copper nickel is like really hard to get. It's definitely not. Also, shouts out to me. Look at how clean my inventory has been most of the episode. Except for that quick stunt with all the bees earlier, but you know, ignoring that. All right, MV motor. My second one ever. There's the pump. Now where's that pulsating iron that I made? I should have had leftovers. Oh, it's probably in the EBF, right? Ha, yes it is. Let's bend it out. Back bending effort here. That might not mean what I was wanting it to mean. All right, I need three more circuits. It's always red alloy cable. I think I actually have some made already. I do. And then finally, just the hermetic casing. So six more polyethylene. There we go, so I'll make six of those pretty easily. And bada bing bada boom, there's my, just kidding, I didn't craft it quite yet. Bada bing bada boom, there's my second super tank one. I, I do have to decide what to actually use it on because obviously it's kind of incredibly expensive, but I mean, pretty much any use of it is gonna be really good. I love these things. I'm gonna go pick up the oil one, bring it back here, but before I do that, let's check on the bees. Come on, baby, tell me I got lucky. Show me money. Unwearies? 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 Oh, man. Are you fucking kidding me? I lost the industrial! Industrious? What the hell is a pollen cluster? Well, I guess I can make an aromatic lump now. That's great. Fuck's sake, man. That was like the worst possible outcome here. Fucking pain. Well, let's see what shit I got. I think they're all just gonna be fucking pure breeds. Pure, not pure, diligent. What the hell is a diligent doing there? Okay, so this one has an industrious. They're pure. Looks like I got a bunch of hybrid crap for the most part, so that's a bit disappointing. Slightly disastrous bee breeding there. That's all right, I'm gonna make it through. Let me go pick up my oil. Taking bets on how much it's filled up by now. I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say an optimistic 1.3 million. Survey says 1.04 million, you know? Not too far off, all things considered. And it is still going, so that's really good. I guess for the time being, I'll just pick this one up, take it home, and then I'll put the other one here to continue filling. Doesn't seem like the worst option in the world. Whoa, why am I so... Carrying this thing is apparently not very good for me. Is that because it's oil or just because of the amount of content? All right, and this should all kick back into life pretty quickly here. Plop it down, and there we go. Generation begins once again, and I get an extra pipe or extra tank out of it. Oh my god, the overflow chest has overflowed. I guess from time to time I'll still have to empty it out, but that's all right. Definitely way less frequently now, if nothing else. Let's see, what have I done? I made the monster drops not be screwed. I made the second super tank, and we made the uh, circuit board stuff. You yeah, know, it's not too bad. Yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I, uh, I don't know what to do next. I think I might be going to MV. It might be that time. Um, we'll see, we'll see. But I think really the only other thing I could think to do before doing so would be like setting up a automatic tree farm or something, but I'm kind of hesitant to do that. One, because I don't really have a need for it right now. And two, there's probably a better way to do it in MV anyways. Uh, you know, I feel like I've been pretty thorough in LV, to be honest. Uh, obviously a lot of quests I haven't done, but again, if it's a quest that I don't need and I don't really have any interest in using, I mean, it's just for completionist sake, which I'm planning to do later on, come back through and pick all these up, but the time being, I definitely feel I have, uh, I feel like I've paid my LV dues. So I don't know, I'll, I'll leave it out there, see what everybody's thinking, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of ready to go. You know how it is, you know how it is. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a like down below. If you want to watch more and you're not already subscribed, maybe hit the subscribe button, unless you don't want to, that's also fine, I don't really care that much. And yeah, I guess in the meantime, I'll see ya later. Meow!